Hello you beautiful people, this is a friendly neighborhood of one here and this time we'll be tackling this new special stage, Zack Worm uh, which is out for mobile and for the 3DS version So with this I'll be using a full ground team uh, The reason why there's a slight uh, different Pokemon in the fourth slot which is actually uh, what you call Giganit uh, I'll be using it for mainly because of its Block Smash Plus uh, For this, it can if you have Gearbyte or Gearbyte, it's actually a pretty useful Pokemon as well. Uh, but it only has block smash only, but it can still be really useful and it is super effective. But since mine is not max, I'll be using a max Giga Nif instead. And also Zagmon also has block smash plus. So that can come in really useful as well. So with this, I'll just be using plus 5 moves, attack boost. Uh, just these two items. I want to s rank it and I want to catch it at a high percentage alright so with 30 moves so roughly we will need 18 moves to s rank it ok so basically on the extreme left side of the of the board is just full of zekoms and metal blocks and you can either summon metal blocks I believe it can also summon Zagwon tiles as well which can be actually pretty useful so I don't really see a much need for a disruption delay to be perfectly honest alright and it's a limited there will be only a limited amount of Zagwon on the left corner so the, if you keep uh, pushing them away uh, basically it will basically disappear after a while alright so we got some of those there which I did not want I knew that probably won't happen okay let's see let's see so it was using Zekom against itself basically I also want to get Mega Gachom up as soon as possible. Again, that did not work. Okay, let's see, let's see. At least we get Mega Gachom up. And then we have more options basically. Okay. So that is one of the reasons why I didn't want to use disruption delay because it can do stuff like that. And as you can see, uh, there are no more Sky Force Zekoms uh, falling. So basically, uh, to bring, to actually bring a Block Smash Plus Pokemon can be actually really useful. Okay, not too bad. Okay, now we still need, we still have to try and S rank it as well. Thank you for that. Alright. Two more moves and we can S-Wank it. Okay, so let's continue.
course I'm confident within this next move we can actually do it. Okay. Alright, well, let's hope this will do the trick. And it does! Alright. So with that we actually got... We got the S-Wing. I believe. But most importantly now we've got to catch it. Alright, so three Amelia icons. Pretty good. If I'm not wrong, this Pokemon has... Oh crap, you just had to break out. Alright, then we got the S Fang for sure. That's great. So by some luck, by some fortune, exactly a nice 25,000 skill. Uh, beating it itemless since I didn't catch it on my first try with using items okay a decent 19% I guess and we call alright so his skill is actually block smash plus as I already mentioned earlier and 80 base power 80 base power Alright, this would be a good Pokemon to invest in, but since it's electric, it can only be super effective against water types and... Not much, it can be super effective with flying water types. Uh, yeah, pretty much that. Let's we'll see how you lose any Block Smash Plus Pokemon is just useful, even outside super effective. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do, please leave a like, drop a subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.